This is the ultimate and best omen guide for split. So in this video I'm going to be showing you how to attack on A, middle and B as omen, how to defend A, middle and B, what you should be buying based off of where you're playing, smokes, flashes and TP locations and some nice plays to finish it off to impress your friends. We're going to start off with the B bomb site. B is a bit of a weird one because it's just such a small site compared to every other site in every map. You know, you, it just look on the map, it's just tiny. Uh, compared to A, like A takes up A main, all like this is all of A and this is just B, you know, B is very small compared to A and B is just very small compared to every other site on the map, which makes it really good for Roman, uh, surprisingly. So what I recommend doing to get the B bomb site is usually there's an AWPer here or just someone playing aggro in this angle here. So what I'd like to do is for my team is click here so I know that I'm flashing there. And then as the round is about to start, I just flash for my team so that they can peek and we get control of this quickly, okay? So for smokes, we just do the default smoke. So we just do the, the heaven smoke like so and the CT smoke making sure that you're creating a wall in CT so that they can't push out like so. I'll show you here. So with this smoke, you're creating a wall with the smoke so that they can't get out behind the smoke. If you've gone B a couple of times and there isn't an upper plane here and you've got control of it without using your flash to take control of B main, another really, really good flash is this one. This stops people from peeking as you're executing. It stops like, say Sage throws a, a slow from heaven to slow us down then usually someone would peek from here. This flash stops them from peeking and allows your team to run onto the site with the Sage Wall and not have to worry about a guy just wide swinging like this. It's another good flash. Use that flash if you're not taking B main control with it. If you're attacking B and you don't have a Sage for the Sage Wall, two smokes that you can do to guarantee that your team gets onto the site is this one and this one. And what this allows you to do is walk out and not worry about the close corner and heaven and it also means that you can go into this smoke and just wait in the smoke and listen for them dropping down onto heaven and then you can TP behind the person who dropped down into heaven and kill them. I'll show you an example now. So you can see in this clip we already have control of the bomb site sort of but I do this smoke anyways so that I can take more control of the site and they shouldn't be expecting it. I'm inside the smoke, I hear her drop from the smoke and I just TP behind her. We're now going to move on to the middle side of the map and focus in on how to attack it and help your teammates. Okay, so the normal thing to do on mid is to just do the two basic smokes to take mid control. We obviously do the vent one, but make it again flush with the wall. And we, I also like to do this one because it stops anyone from helping. It stops the guy up here in heaven from helping the guy in mail room. Okay, so if we're taking mid and there's a guy fighting here, you know, like this, it stops this guy who's behind this smoke from helping the guy in mail room in any way it just it cuts this guy off completely and if he sees that smoke he might even just run away and rotate if there's a sage wall what i like to do first as soon as the round starts is doing this smoke first and then peeking out with the sage wall and destroying it asap and then doing this smoke that way you can get mid control a lot quicker now as you're coming up mid like you just want to be holding this because it's kind of impossible that anyone's going to be here unless you obviously heard the tp or they've got smokes or you tell but you just want to walk up holding this and you want to be wide swinging so look when this is when both of these are smoked you want to be swinging obviously check if this is clear but you want to be swinging this first you can swing this angle without being seen from anything like up there so you can swing that angle first and then you can come round and just check all your angles okay if you know that the team likes to play aggressive or if you want to do a fast play with a jet if you do this you mark around about there so you can get your flash perfectly like this and all you do is on the map you can see that this is going to flash the whole of heaven now you explain to your jet i won't have any smokes or anything or what you can do is smoke this right as soon as the round starts get ping where you want to go and then tell your jet okay i'm gonna flash and then you just dash up you do that everyone is blind in heaven and jet can just dash up 
and go in really quick and get a free kill. While you're doing that, you guys can walk up, check the angles that he's obviously missed, wall off this if you want, and then once you've got like sort of control of heaven, or when you're starting to take control of heaven, you always want to smoke this off, okay? Always, 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 always smoke this off. Um, and then you can maybe spam through the smoke. Um, I like to spam through the smoke, because then it sometimes causes someone to push through the smoke because they think you're going to reload or something. And then you just do the typical CT smoke, and then you just help your team on site. It, med is very, very simple. It, there's not a lot you can do in med. It's all about just using, you know, the, the smokes and remembering to do the smokes like this, creating a wall instead of creating a gap that the, the guy can walk out of. Using your flash when your team, you can even use it in this corner if you want to get more ground, I guess. Just flashing it up like that covers most of heaven. If you want, you can also TP into the smoke, but it's a little bit more risky, but you could do it with a flash if you want to do a more solo play. But the thing that I like to do is when I've smoked this, Cover going up. and we're, we're taking control of heaven and my team's already up there, I like to sit here. I like to bait because people are going to walk through this smoke eventually, right? So I like to just sit here and wait for the rotators because they're not going to check this angle. When you're coming out mid, the first thing you do is you just quickly check and then you walk up. You don't go all the way around and check this angle. No one does that. So if you sit here and you, you kind of wait like this, it means that you can see him obviously walking up and you can catch the rotate and it's a free kill. And then after that, if you want, you can TP here in case there's another one and then catch him off like that. So we're now going to move on to A and how to attack it. So, how to attack A. We're just going to again do the default smokes. It's, it's what you do as Omen, as you just default every single time. You do the, the smoke in CT and you do the heaven smoke, making sure they're like this. Because if you, if you don't do the smokes like this, it allows them to walk out of heaven and gain an advantage. Even with this smoke, to be honest, they might be able to gain an advantage there. But CT needs to be flushed with the wall as well. Once those two smokes are out, they're obviously not out right now. I also like to flash heaven. Or, if we if we peaked heaven and we sort of got control of it. I also like to flash either the left side so it covers under heaven. A little bit of heaven and also rafters there in the corner. Or, I like to come back to this corner and flash this so that it takes the guy off of elbow from peeking my team as they're pushing in so these two these two flashes are useful really really useful especially this one because there's always someone playing elbow if you're struggling to take control of a as omen you're able to do a flash here or you can do it whatever you want you can do it from under you can do it from you can do it from here i'd probably say this is a better position to do it from so you position yourself here you mark on the map here so that you can get it perfect and you say to your jet again it's a jet play you tell your jet all right mate i'm gonna be flashing heaven so you can just come to aim in quickly dash up to heaven and he gets a free kill with his flash i do it right pretty much right at the start or it's just as a, he's just about to dash i'll throw that flash which allows him to just dash up quickly and get that free kill a TP that you can do if you're struggling to get onto site as well is by doing the two basic normal smokes that you want to do and as your team is pushing with you and you know that one's elbow this is a risky play but it can work out once your team is pushing the guy elbow is going to be peeking from there so what you can do is you can jump straight and get into here quickly rather than walking with your team so this guy might be distracted so look he might be here and he might be distracted by your team just shooting. He might not hear the sound and he wants to peek from here. And all of a sudden you're there and then he, this guy's dead. And as soon as you kill that guy elbow, the CT smoke is still up. You want to take control of the CT. You want to peek this confidently because your timing, the timing should be in your favor there. And you want to wait for that rotate guy going into heaven. You get the kill and you just go back. You just go back, you go elbow and you play with your team. And just like that, it's a 5v3. Assuming no one's died. So we're going to move on to how to defend B as Omen. Now, defending B as Omen is really difficult. Um, B is just not good for Omen at all, simply because if you lose heaven control, you're just squashed into this like 
small area you don't have the utility to stop a push apart from a flash and obviously your smokes but again that's more a support and it's not really a defense you want killjoy or cypher playing b so as omen i don't really recommend playing b but if you have to you can um and i'll, I'll show you how to so as omen if you're playing b like i said this is going to be difficult for me to show examples i'm only going to have one example of holding b um because b honestly you just shouldn't be playing b as omen it's, it's really that simple um but i guess the default things that you want to do is maybe at the start of the round wait for the wall to drop quickly peek get the info if they're rushing you can smoke that you can even flash it if you want and you just play pillar and you wait for them if they're really rushing you can flash and then peek off with the flash as they're coming out you can also put the smoke down like this and play inside the smoke i'll wait for this other smoke to go there we go and just hide like this and as they're coming you get one kill two kills and then you can just tp out while the smoke's still there and while you're running away you can flash and then you can just play from sight or you can go ct and play retake i'll show one video because that's all i have on the a site i have a lot of videos and uh a site is where you should be playing as omen so in this clip they've got full heaven control and the way to deal with this is just by holding aiming like this and playing around pillar and just peeking you can see that smoke here i push into the smoke kill her and then i pe wide swing out of the smoke and i kill breach now the reason why i'm doing all this as you can see here as well, I peek reload just to double check that no one's coming behind me, if that makes sense. So I reloaded while while peeking. I don't know what Owen's doing there. But I'm just going to talk through this clip. I end up winning this just from pure luck, to be honest. But did you see what I did? I was hiding behind Pillar and taking the 1v1s as they were pushing on site. Instead of letting them take the 1v1 to me, okay? Then I put that smoke out so that I could go into the smoke. And like confuse them a little bit was my game plan. I didn't honestly expect Jet to be there. But, uh, yeah, she pushed as the smoke popped, I got the kill, and then a white swung out of the smoke. Um, and, uh, yeah, so we're going to move over to the A side because B side is not, B side is very difficult as Omen. So, uh, yeah. So we're now moving over on how to defend A, which is my favorite part of this whole map, is defending A. There's so many, like... You don't understand, there's so many smokes, flashes, TPs, and opportunities to win rounds just based off of Omen. It's crazy. Um, so yeah, I've got a lot of clips to show for A. Then we'll move to middle, but uh, I don't really think Omen should be playing middle as well. A is where Omen definitely should be playing. Okay, so for pistol round, what I like to do as Omen is get right to the barrier, wherever it is. And I'll show a video after this. Buy a frenzy and buy two TPs smoke this just like this and as soon as that goes you walk up behind the smoke with your gun out and you get into this position and you just hold this on pistol round trust me this works honestly you'll be surprised at how good this works i'll show videos now okay so this is pistol round all right so you can see that i'm about to smoke off uh a main and there is a bit of whiffing in this clip. I do miss quite a bit. And we still win the round because of this. And you can see that I go close behind the smoke. They're not expecting it. I whiff. We all whiff. Yikes. So in this clip, we're on a buy round. And I'm doing the exact same thing. This is like around halfway through the game. You can see I get close to my smoke because I've just been flashed. I get... It's just ridiculous playing around your smokes as an omen. And you can see on the badge on the right, this is Radiant. So this video is just showing what playing around the smoke can do, combined with a TP as well. I get two kills for the smoke here. One enemy remaining. So in this clip, I thought they were hard pushing because they smoked. So I flashed it, and I realized I'm in a shit position. They've not smoked. Watch what happens. Watch what happens when you play in and around your smokes. Okay, so I only have the one clip for middle, but this is just an example of how to play middle. I'm asking my sky to flash to mask the sound of my TP. I'm then asking him to flash again, but he wills by accident, which is fine. I still get two kills because of that. We then go into hiding mode, and I tell my teammate to the right sofa to drone for me so that I can get a free kill. Spike down B. One 
Okay, I'm going to keep what you should be buying based on where you're playing very quick and simple, okay? If you are defending A, yeah. med, yeah. or B, yeah. you should be using the frenzy. And you should be playing the close angles like I showed you. But if you like to play further back, you can play with the ghost with a double TP. You can make a play, get a couple of kills there and then TP and to CT. The same applies in mid if you feel confident you can take them down at the bottom of mid, sure. Maybe not B because they're going to rush you, but yeah, 99% of the time on pistol round, I'm going to be using Frenzy on this map. On buy rounds, most of the time you should be using a Phantom if you're playing up close on A. If you're playing Elbow, obviously use the Vandal because the longer range shots. If you're playing CT, Vandal, Heaven, Vandal. But if you're doing what I showed you, playing these close range angles like I showed in the other videos, when defending A, Phantom 100% of the time. I'd honestly say Phantom for mid as well and phantom for b because it's so close range this map for a if you're attacking a i recommend the vandal just because you're taking these longer range fights and like you don't have any control over it you have to take the longer range fights on a the same sort of applies for mid because you're taking a longer range fight there but if the plan is to go b then play with the phantom because you're going to be playing up in tower and stuff so that's what i recommend buying most of the time the phantom on gun rounds and the and the frenzy on pistol rounds and just play around your smokes that's what i'd be buying most of the time first of all if you made it this far in the video thank you uh second of all this video took a lot of work um i know it might not look like it it's my first time doing a video like this it's my first time editing like that i'm not sure if what i did was correct if you guys could let me know in the comments what i could improve on editing wise or tips wise then honestly i greatly appreciate it because you know i'm still very new to it all and i know you guys just wanted a big omen guide and i'm gonna be doing more for every single map um so yeah just uh just tell me what i need to improve on and uh that'd be that'd be greatly appreciated i also stream every day pretty much at twitch.tv forward slash dr freeze underscore so if you guys could please check out my twitch it would mean a lot as well and uh, yeah, thanks for watching guys. This, this was a good video to make. I really enjoyed it, but it was a lot of work.